friends, welcome back. Today, we're going to be exploring our feelings, learning all about that, how to identify them, and using our solutions board to figure out what we can do when we feel certain ways. So let's get started. Are you ready, Petey? Uh -huh. I'm ready. He's ready. Are you ready? Well, wait a minute. Who do I see out there? Hmm. I see. I see Bentley. But hi, Bentley. Hi, Bentley. Ooh, who else is out there? Hmm. Do I see? Oh, I think I see Gage. Gage, is that you? Gage. Hi. Hi, Gage. Oh, who else is out there? Hmm. Oh, I see Nolan. Hi, Nolan. Hi. Oh, well, I, I, wait a minute. I think I see. Do I see Silas? Hi, Silas. Hi. I see somebody else out there. Who else is out there? I, I see Kieran. Hi, Kieran. Hi. Hi, Kieran. Oh, who else might be out there? Hmm. Do you see? Oh, I think I see Chloe. You do? I see Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Hi, Chloe. Oh, who else might be out there? Hmm. I don't know. I see a lot of friends out there. Remember, we're thinking of you and we're keeping you in our heart. Stay safe and stay healthy, and let's get started. Yeah! Oh, well, today we were talking about learning about feelings, and we were pretty happy when we were saying hi to our friends, weren't we? Uh huh, we were. We were so, when we're happy, what does our face look like? It goes, geez, we probably got a big smile, and yeah, oh, he's got a big smile. Uh huh, I do. And you, you might. Have red cheeks and all bunched up, and you're all excited, and you might jump around a little bit. That's what happy looks like. Whoa, did you know that? Show me your big happy face, guys. Everybody, ready? Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Oh, that was pretty good. So let's try something else a different feeling, a different emotion. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. What if sometimes you feel oh sad, like this little girl? Oh, she feels so sad, doesn't she? Oh no! Look, she's got her arms all crossed over. Yeah, see that? And she's got her little face. Her mouth is kind of down. She might be sticking out her bottom lip. Yeah, you see her? She looking down at the ground. She's sad. What is, can you show me what sad looks like, guys? Okay. Oh, I'm sad. Can you show me your sad face? Oh, oh, yeah. That's a good sad face. I wonder what makes you feel sad. Oh, I wonder what. What happens when you feel sad, right? I don't know. Sure we do. You might feel sad, right? If it's time to leave school and you were really having fun, yeah. Or maybe you were just having fun at home, but it's time to go someplace different with mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or some of the grown-ups, you know, maybe aunt and uncle are over. Oh, yeah. And and you might be sad at it's time to leave, and you're like, oh, man, I really wanted to stay. But, you know, that's that's the way things go, huh? Yeah, that's true. That's what life, that's life happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you could do if you were feeling sad. I don't know. You don't know? What should we do? First, we need to think like who? <gasps> Oh, we need to think like Tucker. Because sometimes when we get sad and we're all like this, we don't want to talk. We got we got to tuck it inside, right? Okay, tuck it. Yeah, oh, good job tucking. Did you tuck your arms inside too? Let's practice. Tuck them in. And then let's breathe deeply three times. I go. Oh, good job. I didn't even see you were breathing deeply. Good job, Petey. Were you breathing deeply too? 
And then you gotta what? You gotta think of a solution. It's time to go. We're really sad, but we gotta listen to the grown-ups, right? Yeah, they keep us safe. That's right, they're keeping us safe. And sometimes we just gotta leave places. So what could you do to make yourself feel a little bit better, right? We're gonna tuck it inside. We're not gonna scream and yell. We're gonna breathe deeply. Did you see that? Keep breathe deeply. Did you breathe deeply too? And then what could we do? Well, we know we gotta go bye-bye, but we could always use our how to get there chart. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I like that chart. I like the chart too. So even though we're sad, we could still walk like a duck all the way to the car. Should we practice? Tuck your arms in. Okay, I'm tucking. Okay, now we're gonna walk like a duck all the way to the door. He cracked too. Uh huh. So even though you might be sad, you can still make a good choice about how to get there. Because mommy and daddy might be in a hurry. Uh huh. And we don't wanna. We don't want them upset at us, no. So we're gonna quack like a duck, or maybe you can march. Maybe you feel a little frustrated. Oh, I have to leave. Oh no, oh, you wanna see a picture of a little boy frustrated? Uh-oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, he looks angry. Do you think he's tucking in like Tucker? I don't think so. Oh. He needs to tuck it in. We don't yell at people. That doesn't solve any problems. Uh-uh. It only makes us feel more angry, too. If we're like, ah, ah, I don't like it. Oh, 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 oh. And we wouldn't want to scare our friends. Yeah. I'm sorry, Petey. I was just acting. You were? Yeah, I was just, I was acting. I was pretending to be angry. Oh, okay. That way our friends could see what angry looks like. Oh, okay. So if you were angry about leaving, what could you do oh, to maybe get some of that anger out? Oh, and still make a good choice? Yeah, and still make a good choice. You could march. You could. Yeah, you could march like the marching ant. You could march all the way to the door. Let's show, my, let's show our friends. We can stand up. I'm going to hold you, Petey. Okay. And then you can march, 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 march it to the door. March it, march it, march it, march it, march it, march it to the door. March it to the door. You can do it more. March it to the door, friends. March it to the door. Oh, whoa. You know, that actually kind of made me feel good because that was marching and pounding my feet on the floor. And I wasn't, wasn't being mean. Mm hmm and I was getting my anger out in a good way. So I could say, I'm marching to the door then. I know we gotta leave and I'm marched to the door and I'm stomp, 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 stomp. Oh, nice. You could sing the marching song still. The ant go marching song, remember? The ant goes marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ant go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ant go marching one by one. I'm feeling better and I'm not so angry. Cause they all go marching down to the door. Cause it's time to go bye bye. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, Petey, I, li I like the way you were singing. Thank you. Oh, he's smiling. Uh -huh. Cause I'm a feeling better already. And I was just pretending. Yeah, wow, that's pretty crazy. So we learned about happy and feeling good. That's an easy one. And we learned about feeling, uh-oh, sad. Oh my goodness. She's so sad. I said, don't be sad. What could you do if your friend was sad? Oh no. If your friend was feeling sad, what could you do to make them feel better, guys? 
Hmm. A problem solve. Hmm. Look at the chart. We could look at the chart. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, you're so helpful. So if your friend was feeling sad, hmm, what could you do? Could you say, you could say, please help. Maybe they need help doing something and that's why they're sad. Remember that one? Yeah, you could say, can I please help you? She wants, a, he wants a balloon. He's saying, please, can I have a balloon? But if your friend was sad, you could say, can I please help you? I feel better. Oh, uh -huh. what else could you do? You could ask your friend to play, play with you. You could say, come play with me, Petey. Oh, I like that. I like that too. I could share my toys with my friend. They might feel better. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. I think those are good ideas. I like that. I, I, I like that too. That, that makes a lot of sense, right? Uh-huh. It does make a lot of sense. Solving the problems. Thinking. Tucking it in like Tucker. Uh -huh. And problem solving. Wow. And because we understood they were sad. Or maybe if our friend was angry, we might teach them what? That's right, we could teach them the Tucker technique. We say, we could tell them, oh, stop, think like Tucker. Tuck it in, uh -huh. breathe deeply. <sighs> wow, that makes me feel so much better when I'm not so angry or sad. And I get to clear my head. It makes me feel better. And then I can think of a a way to solve the problem. If I'm sad, maybe I need to go find a friend. Yeah, or find a grown-up. Or find a mommy or daddy or a grown-up, an aunt and an uncle, or grandma or grandpa. Uh-huh, I like that. I like that too. So let's move on to our next thing. I found this great story, Petey. Oh, 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 about the playground problem. Ooh, so we're going to read it to our friends. All right. So we're going to figure out how they solve their problem and how they discover their emotions. It's a lot of stuff. You ready? All right. Monday was a sunny day. Oh, I like it. I like a sunny day, too. Oh, it says it was recess time. And Miss Connor's first grade class was on the playground. There were boys playing soccer. Hey, called Emma. May I play? Ooh, look at all those kids. Looks just like you guys. Yeah. Ooh. Uh oh. No, said Nick. No, said Jamie. No, said. Reza, oh no, it's not being nice. Mm -mm. We do not want you to play with us, said Nick. Oh, oh no, look at her face. Look at their faces. They look angry and now she looks all sad. Look at her, look at the other little girls. Oh, they're like, what? That's not very nice, is it? Mm -mm. Oh, thank you, PD, for helping. Stuck page. So, that night, she told her dad all about the boys. He helped her figure out a plan. Ooh. What were they doing, guys? Problem solving. Mm -hmm. They were thinking of a solution. On Tuesday, the girls ran out to the playground. <gasps> they had a soccer ball and they played soccer. Look! Oh, look at all the happy faces, guys, that are smiling. Look at how they're smiling and running. But look back here. 
The boys are like, oh, what did they do? Girls playing soccer? Yes. Let's see. Hey, said Reza. The girls can play soccer. They are pretty good, said Nick. Wow. He didn't think they could play. Oh, no. Yeah. He says, they're, they're very good, said Jamie. Emma, come and join the boys' team. Oh. But they were only asking Emma. Hmm. That might be a problem. No, said Emma. I do not want to play on a team with just boys. Why not, said Nick. Figure it out, said Emma. Oh no, look at there. She's got an angry face, doesn't she? Look at that. Ooh, she is angry and so are the girls. They're angry too. Arr, yeah, not good, huh guys? Not good at all. On Wednesday, it rained and rained and the girls played at the activity table. Yeah, that was a good choice. Can't go outside when it's raining. Gotta find something to do inside. So that was a good choice. Now on Thursday, it was sunny again and the girls were sorting gold. Hey, Emma, said Ezra, we figured it out. Oh, look, see there they're playing. Now Ezra is telling Emma, he said, they figured it out. Hmm, I wonder if they solved the problem. Boys and girls can play together, said Jamie. <gasps> look at her. He's like, hey, we can figure this. We're, we're making a solution. Says they can play on the same team, said Ezra. We got it, said Nick. Aha, they solved the problem. They were what? Think about what they're doing. Playing together. Oh, they made a solution. They found it. So I wonder what happened. From then on, the boys and girls played together. Sometimes they played really well together. Oh, look at, they're all smiling and they're happy. Playing together, sharing the ball. And, oh, 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 oh. Sticky page. Huh? I feel like I'm missing a page. Yeah. And sometimes, uh-oh, they had fights. <gasps> Not safe, guys. I figured that playing together makes the best team. They said, so we can do it. Yeah. When they play together and they solve the problems, no fighting. Mm -mm. And he was right. So if they play together and they share the toys and they play all with friends, there's no fighting. Everybody's happy. They did some problem solving, just like Tucker. Wow, what do you guys think about that? That was great. So they were problem solving and staying safe. And they figured out their emotions. They weren't sad. They weren't sad anymore. No, they were happy and they played together. And when there was a problem, I bet you they went and got the teacher. Yeah, they probably went and got the teacher because they were at school. Yeah, that was great. I like it. I like it too. You know what? I think we need a song. A song? Yeah, we've been doing so well. What would you guys like to sing? Oh, let's get the board. Yep, we need the board. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <gasps> Petey is such a helper. Uh-huh. Hmm, how about... I like happy and you know it. <gasps> Me too, because it helps you talk about your feelings. Let's do it. 
let's do it. Let's get out the happy and you know it. Let's see. Well, there we go. Oh, I got it. Let's see. Oh. There, touch your toes. All right. You remember the song, guys? Let's sing it with Petey. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. Oh, boy. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. Oh, boy. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. Touch your toes. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Are you ready? Pat, pat your head. Pat, pat your shoulders. Pat, pat your toes. Pat, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. You ready? Pat your head. Touch your shoulders. Touch your toes. And touch your knees. Oh, did you guys notice we switched it up a little bit? Yes, we did. Uh -huh. Ooh, so... Let's see. You want to do the other one? Will we clap our hands? Yeah. Let's do it. I like that one too. All right. Let's get out our little cards. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Good job. Woo, we about stomped right off our chair. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, oh, touch your head. Oh, whoo! If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. Woo, whoo! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your head. Woo, whoo! If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stop, stop. Jump, hooray, pat your head. If you're happy and you know what, do all four. Clap your hands, stomp, stomp. Jump, hooray, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know what, do all four. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Jump, hooray, pat your head. Yay! Oh, that was exhausting. I know. Yeah. That wore me out, guys. You did so good. So let's move on to the next thing. You know, we were talking about our feelings. And sometimes when we're happy, we don't think about that safety thing. Oh, oh. yeah, it's true. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's true. It's it. safety. Yeah, safety first. So when we are trying to be safe, do we remember the safe or not safe board? Uh-oh. Let's talk about it because remember, remember the girls and boys on the on the playground with the soccer ball? They weren't always being safe, huh? Uh-uh. So 
let's look real close. Let's look closer. Ooh, what is this little boy doing? Oh, no, he's not being safe, Miss Sherry. He's not being safe. Guys, do we run in the street? Uh-uh, not safe. Not safe. If we need to cross the street, what do we do to be safe? Hold a grown-up's hand. Yes, we need to hold a grown-up's hand. We can get a mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle or another big grown-up that's in charge. That's right. That's being safe. Oh, boy. We're on the playground again. Oh, oh no. What's going on here, friends? Petey. Is this little boy being safe? Oh, no. Nolan's way up on the slide. Nolan, not safe. Oh, no, Nolan. Don't, don't stand on the slide. You could fall down and hurt yourself. How should Nolan go down the slide? Do you remember? Mm. Oh, there. That's better. Put your bottom on the seat and your hands on the side. Oh, wow. I like the way you're saying that. So put your bottom on your seat, right? And your hands on the side. And then you can go down the slide. Oh, oh it kind of rhymes. It does kind of rhyme, doesn't it? So not safe, Nolan. Sit down on your seat and your hands on the side of the slide. Ooh, and then you can go down safely. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, what's this little boy doing, Petey? If we want to be safe, like these boys and girls, we put our bottom in the seat and our feet on the floor. Then we don't fall down anymore. Whoa, you're just rhyming away today. Uh-huh. So these are safe. These are not. Oh, no. Did you guys remember which ones were safe and which ones were not? I Bet you did. I think they did too. My friends are so smart. They are so smart. You're right. They're so smart. And you know what that means. A song. Yes, a song. And it's a song about thinking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's about never giving up and trying again until you get it right. Because, you know, we're all learning, right? Yeah, we are. So... If we're all learning, we're kind of like, oh, oh, not that one. Oh, boy, where's our, where's our itsy bitsy spider? Itsy bitsy spider, where did you go? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Where is the itsy bitsy spider? I don't know. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to sing something else. Petey. What should we sing? Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle? Yeah. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle it is. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Say up above the world so high. Like a diamond in Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So since we're learning, sometimes it's it's okay to wonder about what's a good choice, what's a safe choice. Uh-huh. We can wonder and think about those things. I like it. I like it too. So friends, you did great today. I am so proud of you listening and learning about our feelings and what to do and good choices. That's right, and good choices. So we'll see you next time. So keep practicing 
and thinking like Tucker. Uh -huh.